How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, which is a very, very fancy way of saying marijuana-induced cyclic vomiting. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because recently marijuana has become, not recently, it's been, it's been a while, but marijuana has become one of the most popular drugs that people use recreationally uh, in the world, and especially here in the United States. And there's a large group of people who are younger who also partake in the use of marijuana recreationally. Now, uh, before I even talk about uh, this, the, the information in this video, I want to emphasize the fact that I am a type of provider who never, 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 never judges someone for drug use. I do not in add to the stigma against drug use. I actually believe in harm reduction. I take everything through a harm reduction approach. But at the same time, I want to make sure that everybody who does partake in drugs knows about the risks of taking drugs and is able to take matters into their own hands if something goes wrong. And that's why I'm making this video. It's not to push some narrative that we should never, never, ever consume marijuana or something like that. Uh, I want to make that clear. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my little spiel. Uh, before I get down to the nitty-gritty of what is cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. So uh, marijuana-induced hyperemesis syndrome is a condition where someone who's been smoking marijuana for years, I'm talking about years, um, it's not someone who just started, it's not someone who's only been smoking once a week or once a month for about six months. Uh, it usually affects a very, very, very small population of people who have been smoking consistently and chronically for a number of years and for some reason all of a sudden they just start vomiting every time that they smoke marijuana they'll start to realize they just start vomiting like crazy and it's cyclical so uh, when they stop smoking marijuana the vomiting goes away but when they do smoke marijuana they vomit straight for a couple of days and it's very very unusual and it's hard for people to pinpoint whether or not um, something is wrong with them because a lot of people have never heard of this condition before. But something that we do see routinely as physicians in the emergency room and uh, as doctors who are taking care of these kinds of patients who are having these really unusual bouts of vomiting is that in addition to the marijuana usage, the patients report to us that for some reason the vomiting goes away or somewhat gets alleviated whenever they take a hot shower or hot bath. For some reason, whenever they, you know, they're throwing up but then they go take a hot shower and they're not throwing up anymore. And it's a really, really interesting phenomenon that we see with uh, this specific, you know, condition um, that we never have seen before with other forms of cyclic vomiting that exists. Now, if you're wondering, like, how bad can this vomiting be um, to make it something serious? It, it, it actually is something that can become very serious because uh, it's not vomiting once or twice after smoking. We see these patients like vomiting intensely um, multiple episodes in the day where they're constantly vomiting. They're not able to keep foods down, which leads to a lot of patients end up ending up in the emergency room because they are extremely, extremely dehydrated. We generally have to pump these patients up with fluids. Sometimes because they're throwing up so, so much, it erodes up parts of their esophagus. So it can cause things like GERD, it can cause esophageal erosion. And unfortunately, in, in like very, very rare cases, it can kind of make the esophagus weak and we never want something uh, to go wrong because when the esophagus becomes weak like that, it can perforate and lead to other really, really complicated situations like pneumonitis and Borhaef syndrome. That's a lot of medical terminology that you don't have to know specifics about, but just know that they're extremely, extremely <laughs> worrisome and needs immediate medical intervention. To help treat with the vomiting, we usually give these patients some form of anti-emetic, which is a fancy term for drugs that keep you from throwing up. And sometimes we will even have to give patients things like benzos uh, to help with the vomiting symptoms. 
So yeah, it's a it's a pretty serious condition, but luckily the treatment is actually pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, the treatment is abstinence from you know uh, partaking in THC, the active drug of marijuana. That may be really easy to say, but sometimes when someone is a chronic marijuana user, it might be really really hard to completely stop and potentially dangerous to go cold turkey. So it's incredibly important to work with a doctor or work with an addiction specialist or drug usage uh, medical specialist to help wean off of marijuana. You never want to stop anything cold turkey. Unfortunately, what we do see with these patients is that after their symptoms go away, um, after they've been stopping uh, marijuana, taking marijuana for a couple of weeks to months, whenever they start back up again, their symptoms come back. And unfortunately for a small group of people, their symptoms are even worse than what it was before. So it's really important for us to tell our patients that, you know, if you decide to um, partake and consume THC products again, your symptoms might come back and it's very concerning. At that point, it's uh, better to abstain from marijuana usage than it is to continue uh, recreationally using it and finding alternatives uh, if if it's something that you do, it, the effects of marijuana help you in uh, some other form of your quality of life. I do want to emphasize that this is a, a new condition that we have been seeing more and more cases of. So not a lot of research is actually being done, being done um, on its treatment, especially because the government tries to regulate so much of um, so much research that has to do with marijuana and THC, its active ingredient. But uh, preliminary studies, like new studies that have been going on, show that, that there are some alternative treatments to help with this condition. And one really interesting one, although I will, I want to really emphasize the fact that this is a really, really small study, but promising that a larger study needs to be done to show any form of improvement, that they saw that if you use capsaicin cream, which is uh, the same cream made of hot peppers, uh, sometimes we will use this cream as a form of pain reliever. Capsaicin cream has helped certain uh, patients who apply it to their stomach, which makes kind kind of sense because uh, earlier we talked about how heat, like a hot shower or hot bath, helps relieve the symptoms that these patients are experiencing. So capsaicin generates heat because it's made of the active ingredient in chili peppers, and that is hot. So. There is some really, really promising research when it comes to other forms of treatment for uh, cannabinoid-induced hyperemesis syndrome, but it is ongoing and we don't have a definitive treatment for it other than abstaining from marijuana use. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you learned something new and I hope that this information will help you in some way or form. If you know someone or if you are experiencing symptoms of um, marijuana-induced cyclic vomiting, um, please, 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 you know, seek out help and uh, I hope this video will help you understand the severity of this condition and uh, take matters into your own hands and hopefully uh, come to a solution. Anyways, I had a pleasure making this video and I hope to see you in future videos. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work. And you can always ask me questions on my social media. I might not always reply, but sometimes when I have time, I will. Or you can just send me messages about how much my content has helped you in any way or form. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.